Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. So, uh, I want to address a comment by Linda May. Linda May uh, sent me a message. She asked me how to overcome rejection, right? So how do you overcome rejection in sales? And I'll kind of give you a few tips on how you can overcome rejection in sales. So <clears throat> one thing you, you have to do, you have to know your product. You have to know your product through and through. Can it deliver what it says it can deliver, right? Because if you have confidence in your product, you can sell that product very effortlessly. Now here's the thing that a lot of people do not do, and I think this is very, very important. Hey, what's up, Ted? Um, it's very, very important that you do this. You must role play. Role play is extremely important. If you ever want to build tough skin in order to accept uh, rejection a lot better, you need to role play. And what I mean by role playing is this. Have somebody, maybe a family member, a friend, your, your spouse, sit down with you and say, hey, I want you to act as a customer. I want you to be a customer and I want you to give me three concerns why you're not going to buy my product. For instance, when I worked for Bally Total Fitness, we had to overcome, uh, our top main objections were money. People just didn't have the money to do it. We would find them, we would have three rebuttals. You gotta have three rebuttals for each objection, right? So if someone says, I don't have money to buy a membership right now. Well, the membership is only $30 a day. Do you drink Starbucks? Yeah, I drink Starbucks. Well, that, the average cost of that is about $3. How often do you do that? Then you tally up how much it's gonna cost them, and they say, hey, look, you're spending more money buying a venti Americano at Starbucks. Why don't you scale down a little bit, get a grande Americano, and now you can afford to get a health club membership. It's only a dollar a day. One of the key things about money is, you want to break it down to the ridiculous. Meaning, you don't say, this membership is $1,000. You say, it's one grand. In psychology, it just sounds less. You don't say, um, this car is gonna cost you $23,500. No, you say, the car is gonna cost you $23,500. You understand what I'm saying? When you're removing, whatever sounds like a lot, you're removing it and breaking it down to the ridiculous. So if someone says 19,000, another example, this particular item costs $19,355. You're gonna tell them it costs 19,355. They know what you're talking about. Let them say it to you. You don't say it to them. So again, uh, overcoming objectives, I'm kind of bouncing around a little bit, but overcoming the objections, you want to uh, <clears throat> have three rebuttals for every objection. So if the main re rebuttals are money, time, role play uh, with a spouse, role play with your friend, your homie, whatever it is, have them act as a customer have them act as a customer and you sell your spiel to them. And then they're supposed to say, well, no, nah, I can't do it today because I don't have the money. Okay, now you're supposed to come out with your Jedi mind trick and hit them with three reasons why they can't afford this, right? Why they can't afford it. And the next one would be, I don't have time to do it. Uh, hit them with three reasons why they can find time to do it. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta have rebuttals for every objection. Find out what your top three objections are gonna be in your field. Whether it's in the restaurant business, hey, you know, this food costs too much, or this wine costs too much. You're introducing wine to them. Oh, this, wine, this bottle of wine is too much. Well, sir, this is a Cabernet 1955, you know what I mean? There's a 1955, Chateaubriand or something, right? And what you want to do is you want to continue to build value because value 
over outweighs the price. Why do you think people buy Bugattis? You know, it's because of the value that it gives them. Rolls Royces, Mercedes Benz, it's the value. It ain't really the price tag. If a, a person will find a way to get that money if they really want that Mercedes Benz, right? So you want to role play, that's one. You want to have three objections, uh, rebuttals for every objection, that's two. Um, let me have another one. That, that, that's, the, that's two that I can think of off the top of the head. So I wanted to um, address a comment that I received so you guys can understand. Objections are going to come. Rejections are going to come. But the more prepared you are for it, the better it is. So you want to build value in your product, right? You want to answer those questions beforehand if you can. You ever, you ever had a conversation with somebody and then they said, hey, uh, I had a question for you, but you already answered it. You want that. You want to answer those questions before they even come up. You want to have the, uh, your Jedi Empire Strikes Back rebuttals for every objection and you want to role play with everybody. So this is your humble hip hop sales coach. I hope this uh, video served good for you guys. If you have any sales questions, I am more than happy to help out with it. I want to see you guys put more numbers on the board, increase your sales, and then make more money. And then hopefully I'll see you in the health club and this racquetball court and I can whip your ass in it. Peace, love, and prosperity to you and your family. One love.